Okay, here we go. So this is our little uh, mini class on the solar system that we created as a sample um, on how, um, how to use um, I mean, after press for education, for example. Um, so uh, you open the app, you click on guest access, you enter the code here, 745-648. Uh, uh, you have to click on the little number here to get to the number pad. Um, and you just type that number, 745-64508 and uh, you click sign in as guest so that will load the presentation and uh, i'm bracing myself making sure the recording is working so the presentation is self-guided and um here it is it's ready to start i'm not going to relocate it in front of me exactly there we go so yeah the square is like kind of like the center in front of you and uh, I use my uh, my hand and I do those little pinch with my index and my thumb to click on things. I'm gonna close this because it's principally automated to move from slide to slide. Here we go. Welcome to our solar system. Um, so it's like a virtual class, bo uh, class book uh, where you have a lot of text to read and you have all those illustrations they are three-dimensional and animated this is awesome so uh, right now this animation is uh, 10 seconds uh, with uh, the size of the planet doors uh, augmented oh that's not what i want to do let me go back here i like that one I'm not finished with that one um here we go um so right now like you can see the planets are uh magnifying five uh, ten times i think uh, for the first small ones, and then uh, five times for the, the other one, like Jupiter, the bigger one, um, and uh, and then they're put back at their normal size. You can see how small they are. Uh, oh wow, here's Jupiter, uh, pretty big. Oh wow, Saturn was pretty big too. Oh, what I didn't know is, look how fast is Jupiter rotating. Um, uh, Jupiter is actually doing a day in nine hours of Earth time. This is insane. Um, it's really, really fast. Um, oh, we can see that it's over there. Uh, that's pretty slow orbit. Uh, nice serving, uh, actually. And it's an interesting axis. It's turning on from a different axis than the other ones. So Most of them are uh, on different axis. That's nice. Um, Saturn also has a, a little tilted uh, axis. Uh, cool. Well, we can discover here um, and take time to appreciate. Uh, this, well, Venus is turning a little faster than Earth around the Sun. So there's a lot here we can learn, um, and we can read the text that explains the scale, especially uh, the proportion and distance, because the distance between the planets here is not proportional, it's very important to know, uh, because it's really almost literally impossible. We'll have to walk four kilometers to get to the right one. Uh, so here's Venus. Uh, so the Sun, well, we could have seen that, it's almost the same size as Earth, which is fairly interesting. Um, and here's its version, uh, it's uh, yellow, the gas around it, um, her uh, atmosphere, we said. Uh, so it's a very hot planet, and under that atmosphere, uh, it's a very, very intense um, things are happening. You can see that the structure of inside, under the clouds, what's happening there? It's cleaning, it seems like it's open, but I'm not going to look at It's really, um, really hard. So. Uh, when you're done with a uh, slide and you're finished reading and you're ready with move to the next slide, what you do, you do this little, again, uh, index and thumb pinch on the floor. You look at the floor and you pinch like this. Oops, did not work? There you go, it worked. Um, you know, it worked because it changed slide. <laughs> um, and if you're tired of slide, it won't change fast. You can you can do that so at uh, any point in time. Uh, watch out your hand. Sometimes you're doing it. Uh, I'm doing it. My mistake. Wow, this is Jupiter. Uh, wow, yes, big, big moons. Um, I don't know if they're proportional on this uh, on this animation. I didn't validate, it, but they have very different texture from one to each other, and different shapes. You can see those ones that are closer to uh, Jupiter itself. They're like little really box. Um, Ceres is that the name of it? The small one over there, um, or or is Ceres? No, Ceres is on the. Well, I'm not going to say anything else because I'm not an expert in that domain. Oh, look at this one. Interesting. So, um, yeah, Jupiter, these big gas 
um, giant, um, massive, and uh, nice little planets around them. They're pretty big, actually. Some of them could be uh, considered uh, solar planets, but uh, they're satellites of, uh, of Jupiter. There it is. Oh, should get on the floor. Very top. Let's go to Mars, which is uh, surprisingly, um, I know that's way smaller than Earth. Um, I have the size, and I'm a little bit less, almost half the size. Um, and it's very, very red. Um, you can see that here um, in terms of um, the feature. It's um, iron oxide. So here we're going to see, um, whoa, it's coming up. It's the Mont um, Olympus Mont. Uh, so this is a massive volcano. Uh, I mean, there's the bigger volcano on, on Mars, but this is one that's very high. has a very high peak. Uh, it's a whole time bigger than uh, Mount Everest. Uh, and I can see some of its uh, features here. I can explore it in 3D, which is pretty cool. And uh, there's little craters on top of it, so since it existed, there's like this big cliff on the side. Um, cool, so I'm done with this one. Let's move to the last slide, which is about our little rover on Mars, Mars Curiosity rover. Um, oh, here it is. This is our guy. This is pretty sweet little animation on this. Look at this. Oh, it's coming in. So, well, this is what he's exploring. He's pulling little rocks on the floor. And um, and uh, here's a sample of it. Uh, some people created a 3D reconstruction of those from those stereo picture of the rover, and were able to create this relief uh, 3D version of it. So here we can see a piece of rock from Mars just here. I'm exploring it close. This is awesome. So according to them, the scientists, this is a proof of uh, water. Uh, on Mars, uh, from that board, uh, it looks like a clay, type of clay that I've um, cracked, dried, and um, I'm not sure exactly what it works, but it's pretty cool. And we have also in there a little video um, that explains um, the Grail crater where Mars is actually, uh, the rover is actually exploring. And uh, how it came to be, and what's interesting in there, it's a great video. I'll let you guys watch it. You can find that video on the website of uh, NASA as well. Cool. Thank you guys for watching this. I'm going to uh, tap to quit. And here we go. We're back to the beginning of the presentation. Uh, if you want to start the presentation again, you pop up the little menu by putting your palm up. The little button appears when you put your palm up like this. Like this. And I put then the menu display. And I click start again here before I can relocate myself or just leave and open another presentation um, that uh, by entering another code. Cool. Thank you, guys.